pressure, it was Leeds who went ahead. Day's goal kick headed on to find Hendry in space. Gittins brings him down just inside the box. Penalty. Strachan, who'd scored a hat-trick the last time they met, coolly slotted a seventh penalty of the season. But Kerslake's persistence on the right was beginning to tell. A lovely weighted cross coming over from him, headed down by Steve White, and it's Jones following up to score. In the second half, Swindon had the better chances. A long through ball from Calderwood puts Stephen White clear again. He's impeded by the defender. The whistle is gone by the time Shearer shoots past Day. Swindon, though, less accurate with the free kick. But they deserve to take the lead. McLaren will follow up his own throw-in. Foley with a perfectly weighted header. And White again managed to get past his man. A long clearance kick from Swindon. White goes past his marker and fires home impressively. But the linesman had spotted something. Mervyn Day presumably congratulating him on his judgment. Leeds equalised then against the run of play. A Strachan free kick deflected to Hendry. What a good finish from him. Two all. But from a corner, Swindon weren't to be denied. The ball could be cleared out only as far as Ross McLaren. One of his special long-distance efforts clinching a vital victory for Swindon. Over 16,000 were stunned by Leeds' goal after 18 minutes. A penalty awarded for a foul by John Gittens on John Hendry. Gordon Strachan's successful kick was his seventh from the penalty spot this season. But the attacking flair that's been Swindon's trademark under Ozzy Ardiles fueled a strong recovery. By half-time, Swindon were level, David Kerslake's cross, and eventually Alan McLaughlin guided in his 15th goal of the season. Kerslake, a recent signing from QPR, helped lay on Swindon's second goal, too, early in the second half. A fine header from Steve Foley. Two further Swindon efforts were ruled out, and with just under 20 minutes left, it seemed that Leeds might snatch a point. Hendry equalising with a volley from Strachan's free kick. But then a controversial Swindon winner. Referee Paul Durkin wouldn't allow Leeds to replace an injured player. They failed to clear the corner properly, and Ross McLaren's scorching drive earned Swindon their most significant win so far.